Choosing the right machine vision camera means navigating through a ton of information. Camera specs such as resolution, frame rate, sensor size, and pixel size are very important, but in terms of imaging performance, they don't tell you the whole story. Let's look at an example comparing two Grasshopper 3 models, one with Samosis' CMV4000 and one with Sony's IMX174 sensor. Both are high-performance CMOS global shutter sensors with very similar pixel sizes. But does this mean they're going to have similar imaging performance? No. The IMX174 reports about 50% less temporal dark noise and almost three times the saturation capacity. Why is this? It's because they use different design architectures in both the sensor itself and in the surrounding electronics. Another aspect of imaging performance one might assume is that the same sensor will perform the exact same in another company's camera. Now while a certain degree of similar performance can be assumed because it's the same sensor, it's important to note that camera manufacturers can tweak and fine-tune surrounding sensor electronics to improve imaging performance. For example, Point Grey's Grasshopper 3 USB 3 camera with Sony's ICX285 CCD sensor has two unique imaging modes. One mode balances imaging performance with fast frame rates using a standard pixel clock, while the other mode slows down the pixel clock. Now, while this mode limits the maximum frame rate, it allows the camera to image with reduced temporal dark noise, resulting in a much cleaner image, a feature which is extremely useful when you're imaging using extended shutter times. Okay, so where do you find all this juicy information? To get a clearer picture of camera imaging performance, Look for the EMVA 1288 Imaging Performance Results. EMVA stands for European Machine Vision Association, and the 1288 standard are their procedures and rules for measuring and presenting camera sensor imaging performance data. Using traditional imaging performance characterization, such as photon transfer curve and signal response curve, the EMVA 1288 standard gives results for quantum efficiency, saturation capacity, dynamic range, temporal dark noise, and more. Next to testing out the camera yourself, the EMVA 1288 results are the next best thing for revealing true imaging performance. For example, quantum efficiency results capture the sensor's ability to convert photons into electrons, which relates to camera sensitivity. A sensor with a peak measurement of say 79% means that for every 100 photons that hit the sensor, an average of 79 will be detected. A higher QE percent means greater sensitivity and is a great indicator of how well it will image in low light. Of course, depending on your application needs, different imaging performance results will mean more to you than others. Because of this, Point Grey not only has individual camera sense results, but it also has a useful comparison document that combines all of our latest cameras for one easy comparison. In addition, we have an excellent technical application note that speaks specifically about our unique imaging mode that reduces temporal dark noise when using extended shutter times. Now, all these documents can be found in the links below. And of course, if you need any assistance with performance results, please email us or give us a call. Thanks for watching.